This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Barb Hicks back with me. You are on the board of the Rideau Environmental Action League, better known as Real here in Smith Falls. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Now, you never know it by looking outside because uh, we've got snow warnings out, but we are going to talk today about preparing for spring weather. And we're going to talk about rain barrels, composters, and maybe about monarch butterfly gardens too. So let's start sure. out with uh, talking about rain barrels. So um, Real has been selling rain barrels for years and we're about to launch our fourth rain, truckload rain barrel sale. So rain barrels are a great, great way to conserve water. You put them under a downspout um, of your roof and you collect water that you can use later to water your plants in your garden. Um, you can even put a series of rain barrels together so that when it rains, you collect two barrels of water or more. It's great for your plants. Uh, people do other things with it too. You can wash your cars, fill a pond, wash your hair, wash your pet. Um, so what happens is people need to go to rainbarrel.ca and place their order for their barrel and our truck load arrives the day or two before and you can pick it up on saturday may 14th and i mean having two rain barrels that makes so much sense you know come uh, july and august when we start having water bands on and uh, you know you don't have enough water and you shouldn't have your, be running your sprinkler system to be watering your garden so two water bar barrels doesn't last a long time either when you've got a big garden. No, it doesn't. And depending on the size of your roof, you, you probably can collect way more than one barrel worth in one rainfall. Um, yeah. Well, it, the amount it, of water and, it, and it's a out. good thing if you have, um, you know, if you have problems with your well, you know, that you use that water so that you're not tapping into your well for your watering. And it's just better to use, uh, not have to use municipal water that's already been treated. That's on your right. garden. That's right. That's right. And sometimes when you when you put the water from your well on your your garden, it's like really cold. It's freezing cold. It's not that good. You you should warm your water up a little bit. So, yeah, it's yeah. room to I, I well yard temperature. <laughs> anyways, yeah, yard temperature. yeah, so it's it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And as well, yeah, at real we've got uh, the earth machine. The composters are back. Yes, we um we haven't done this before, but we um got together with the town of Smith Falls and ordered some uh, earth machine composters. So we ordered 50 of those in. So we'd like to um, encourage local residents to start backyard composting. So we're gonna throw in a $10 gift certificate to the Real Deal store. So that's a good deal for everyone. And they are at the store now, if you wanna get started. Otherwise we will have them out there, of course, on Saturday, May 14th, when people pick up the rain barrels. Excellent, excellent. And there's so much you can actually put in the composter too. And it's gonna save uh, the amount of garbage that you're gonna throw out every week. Absolutely. I mean, some some people say it's up to a third of your garbage might be kitchen waste. So yeah, you can put fruit and vegetable scraps in there. Um, if you're careful, there's things from your your garden you can put in there, and it's great uh, a great material to have to supplement your garden. And when you purchase the the, the composter as well, too, you're going to get a flyer. It's going to teach you a little bit of what what can go in there and how to treat your composter. Yep, there's a little booklet that comes with it that explains how to use that specific model of composter. And Real also has a little composting fact sheet that is good for anyone who's trying composting of any kind. Um, and, you know, if you have problems, give us a call. We might not have someone right there who can answer your question, but we'll certainly do our best to uh, help you along. And the, the compost is so good for your garden as well, too. Yeah, you can put it on your garden. Some people put it on their lawns. Um, and depending on how, uh, you know, you might have some at the end of the season, if you're not in a hurry, well, you know, <laughs> you could use it another season, but uh, it, it's a great thing to have really cuts down on your waste and really kind of keeps the whole thing circulating, you know? Excellent. Excellent. Now you, we've got pitch in happening as well right now. Yes. Uh, again, an annual thing. Um, pitch in Smith Falls is part of a, a, a nationwide campaign. Uh, where residents get out and pick up litter because it, you know, it's very evident after the snow melts, if, it, if it's going to melt. <laughs> we have a little snow today. Um, so in Smith Falls, we, we do it from, this year we're doing it April uh, 16th to 30th. And we have the pitch-in bags at the Real Deal store. People can come by and pick them up um, and go choose a site 
clean up your garbage, leave the garbage in an obvious spot so that the town of Smith Fall staff can come along and pick it up. Um, we've got a little photo contest going on if people would like to send us pictures of them picking up garbage or some of the weird things they found or, or of the number of bags they have collected. There's a little activity sheet if you've got kids in your group who would like to do a little sort of bingo game of what litter items they have found. And um, it's just sort of a feel good thing. Um, if people need to know where to go on our website, we've got a list of sites in Smith Falls that can use a little work and a list of some of the sites that people have already said they, they'd like to tackle. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I see groups of people, you know, friends get together and uh, a lot of people from their workplaces too get together and they'll, they'll, they're going to take, you know, a, an afternoon and they'll just go out yeah. and collect some garbage as, as a, collectively as a group and it's really cool to see that. Yeah, no, that that's very true. Um, it, it could be anyone. It could be families, individuals, school groups, church groups. Um, Laboat is going out as, um, you know, some staff and some of their families. Yeah, it doesn't take long to, to make a difference, that's for sure. For sure, for sure. Now, uh, Monarch Butterflies, you've got a Monarch Butterfly Garden at uh, the real location? Yes, we do. We um, a few years ago when we when Real had its 30th anniversary, we were looking for a project to sort of mark the occasion. So we put in uh, a monarch garden. It worked out really well. We had lots of monarchs that year. So the next year we put in another phase of the garden, also in front of the Real Deal store. And we we're hoping to put in a third phase. Uh, we would have done it last year, but we were a little distracted by our DPAVE project. So we'll be putting in a third phase closer to our community garden later this year. So the money raised from these rain barrel sales are going to go towards that. Excellent, excellent. And now the DPAVE program too, we were talking about is uh, in front of, well, beside the library downtown. So once that gets finished and once all the construction gets down, done downtown, it's going to look <laughs> lovely. Yes, it will. We, um, yeah, for people who don't know, DPAVE is also sort of a nationwide project. There's been 60 or 70 of them across Canada. It's where groups go in and uh, take up unused pavement and sort of re-naturalize it um, so that rainwater can percolate. It doesn't run off hard surfaces picking up pollutants. So the timing was great. Um, the town was looking to remove that block of Daniel Street in between the town hall and the Smith Falls Public Library. So we had volunteers together. We took up a uh, thousand square meters of pavement all by hand. <laughs> and then uh, another weekend we came back and planted these two, uh, two monarch gardens. So we'll be looking after those. There's still things to happen down there, like we need to plant our four native trees are in the plans. And of course the town is putting in a band shell and paths and benches and lights. So that'll get done this summer. Excellent, excellent. Now you've got a great Facebook page. I love looking at your Facebook page. I saw members of the Heritage House Museum uh, was at real uh, and, and you're on William Street. Is that? Correct? Yes, 85 William Street West across from the railway museum. And yeah. they were looking at some old pictures trying to figure out if there was somebody from Smith Falls and, and uh, that sort of thing. I thought that was really pretty cool that they were doing that. Yeah, we had we had this very neat uh, portrait of somebody mm -hmm. painted in about the early 1900s with a very old thick round frame around it. And we, we we had consulted with some people, we could not determine who who it was. And there was no no clues on it. Anyways, we thought it might be a nice addition to the Heritage Houses collection. <laughs> <laughs> so we asked them if they wanted it. And they said, sure. So she came over and picked it up last week. And that was what that picture was about. Excellent. And you know what else I saw on your Facebook page too? is you have all sorts of, um, uh, I want to say the downspouts and everything, you know, speaking of rain barrels, you've got all sorts of, you know, connectors and pieces for that, if yeah. you, you know, putting together your rain barrel and you need an extra section or something, you've got all sorts of that sort of thing. Yeah, that was a, that was a neat donation someone gave us all these, uh, yeah, downspouts and elbows and so on all in different colors. Um, so yeah, if someone's looking to uh, complete their setup for the rain barrel or, or do anything else, they can come over. It, that kind of stuff is out in our yard behind the store. Excellent, excellent. Now, are you taking donations now or how's that working? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely, we love donations. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we, you know, for people who don't know, the real deal takes in, um, gently use household items and renovation materials um so we're sort of a cross between um 
you know, a Habitat for Humanity restore and a Salvation Army thrift store. We don't take any clothing or mattresses or infant items, but we have almost almost anything else you can think of in the store. And the unique thing is that we take, um, you know, hardware, doors, windows, bricks, all that kind of outdoor stuff as well, because that's a, you know, a very big component of the of the waste stream. So we want to we wanted to try to tackle that. So, um, yeah, so all that kind of stuff is out behind the store and in that big green thing that we call the dome. <laughs> <laughs> so anybody doing some renovations, you should come and take a look at uh, what you have there first before. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If you're just doing a little quick fix around the house, yeah, come see what, what you can get. It's quite, you know, very inexpensive. Um, you know, you know, it's local. We're not paying for a lot of packaging. It's, uh, yeah. It's a Keeping it out of the landfill. Absolutely. Think secondhand first. That's right. Sick. I like that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very much for joining us today. Barb Hicks, you're on the board. You're the secretary on the board at uh, Real, our Rito Environmental Action League. Thanks for joining us today. And let's get ready for the spring, despite the snow outside. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks thank for joining you. us.